What's up everybody? Main fly guys here, gonna tie a uh, sort of a snazzy looking stone fly. I don't really have a name for it, but um, yeah, it's a stone fly imitation. Uh, here I got a size eight uh, grasshopper hook with uh, a nymph head evolution, small size. They're pretty cool looking. Um, and my middle bead's a tungsten uh, what is it, 3 16th inch uh, from MFC. So pretty heavy. This fly is meant to get down quick, uh, and when it gets down, it's meant to stay down, so good for uh, quick water if you're nymphing. Not really great in those slow pools, so if you're trying to use this in a slow pool, I would advise against it. But uh, The thread that I'm using is thread that I'm using is a dot uni thread red um, very very strong threads these days are so strong you don't really need anything for nymphs at least I don't think you need anything that uh, is thicker than an a dot you know but whatever personal preference um, so I'm gonna add some turkey biot tails in here and what I like to do is build up so I'm gonna work all the way back here right right behind where the barb is but I like to build a little tag here and make it a little thread ball it's kinda of why I use the color red I just I like it as the tag color um, and then I'm gonna place my turkey biots opposite one another so that they're flaring out away from each other um, this will give it that nice separation. So here, if you can see that, they're flaring out away from each other. So you just line them up. I like to do it, this is gonna be, the, the big B here is gonna be about midway, maybe a little bit more than midway. I like to have the tail length about the same as the body, or the, uh, the abdomen. So right about there is good. And all I do is I pinch them on the side of that thread ball then I just give them a few wraps while holding it tight with my left hand. And there you go, you can see nice and split, very even, very straight, looks great. You can do a little adjusting to them if you want, but with that thread dam, you're usually all set and ready to go. So now I'm just flipping back my turkey biots to make building the body easier. Because my thread, which I just broke, funny, because I was talking about how strong it was. Kinda funny. Nicked the hook though. Um, so yeah, when I Go to, I want this body to be tapered, so when I, uh, if I can use any advantage to make it easier to build up, I'll take that advantage. So I'm just going to work back. So I'm going to tie in the materials that I'm going to use to make the body. Um, and the first thing that I'm going to use... If I could find them. Are these uh, synthetic quill wraps. Right here. So I'm going to tie those on. Because um, they're going to be. The last thing that I end up wrapping. They have a sticky side. And a non-sticky side. I always tie it in. With the. Uh, sticky side facing out so when I go to wrap it my sticky side will be the one will be the side that's getting wrapped down so I just go tie that in take a little snip alright and before I head back down I'm going to tie in some gold tinsel. 
here I have just some holographic gold tinsel. Um, I like to do a few small pieces rather than one large piece. So here I have three, so it's silver on that side, gold on that side. Um, I just think it looks better. So I am going to tie in this so that when I flip it over, the gold is the part that is showing. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up after I get my wraps done. I'm just going to wrap it forward, wrap it forward, cinch it down, and make the body. So I'm just going to speed this up for you guys. Alright, so here is my body. Um, looking pretty good. Now, before I do anything, I am going to... Uh, UV resin, this back body here. I'm going to use some solar res thin um, and just UV this. So, probably put too much on there. You really don't need that much, but whatever. I can always take some off. Okay, so now that's done. Um, I am going to whip finish right here all right so i'm just gonna do a little whip finish um and what i'm going to do is add in um some super glue right where my sort of red colored thread is i'm gonna add in some super glue right here and once i do that you really don't need a lot, you just need a little bit. I'm going to push my gold bead back. So I'm going to push it back. Push it all the way back. And just hold it there for a second and it will uh, stay in place. Just like that and give you some room to kind of work with. Boom, just like that, all good. So now, it's just sort of temporary. It's not a real good hold, you know, but it's temporary. Um, so now, we can start up here. And I'm just gonna build it up a little bit. Build up this front section, where we'll start to work on our thorax. And the thorax is fairly simple. The hardest part is when you get around this head with the, the sort of insect uh, real life looking head. It gets a little difficult. Um, so after I build up a little bit here, I know that there's gonna be three basic parts to this thorax. There's gonna be some peacock dubbing, um, and there's going to be a partridge wing and then a back to it. So the uh, the back is just going to be some uh, flashaboo, this mirage kind of stuff. Uh, I love how it looks. Um, so I'm just going to take, now I, again I, I have the really thick flashaboo, but I like the look of uh, sort of a couple of small strands. Sort of a couple small strands instead of one big one. So I take maybe four or five and I'll just wrap it in, make sure it's on top. Just make sure it's right in on top and I'll work all the way back as far as that can go, making sure that it's right on top. If it's not right on top, this thing won't work, so. So that's good right there. Now I'm going to tie in my partridge feather, which is actually a main grouse feather, and they work exceptionally well. Um, so I want it to be facing like this, 
So what I'm going to do is tie it like this, and I'm going to flip it forward, pull it back like that. Um, so I'm going to tie it in right at the tip here that I've separated out. And I just pull it into position where I like it, right there is good. Okay. Also keeping this on top. So now, I got my hackle in place. Good. Got my back in place and now I can do my dubbing. And I'm just gonna clean this up a bit. And I want the dubbing to be um, just in a noodle form. I don't want it to be spread out. So all I do, it's pretty lengthy. So I just take it and rip it in my hands a little bit. You can obviously wrap a just a, a peacock feather too if you want. But I'll ring off. Interesting. But I uh, I like this stuff sort of better. So here I'll just speed this up for you guys. All right, so there's my thorax. It's pretty thick. You want it to be about the same diameter as the uh, as the big weight out back there. And I'm just gonna come through and kind of trim any trim any unsightly pieces. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip forward my uh, my feather here. And that looks decent. So I'm going to hold the feather down here and just trap it in. All right, so here's what we got right there, trapped in. Looks pretty good. I'm going to cut the tag off. Sweet. And then I'm going to bring that shine over, over the top while holding the feather down. We get something like that. Good, lock that in. Oops. Lock that in. Okay, cut those tags. And if you're kind of anal, you'll see there's sort of a mess there out front, but don't worry about it. It'll be covered up in a second. So I like to put a nice little red thread of collar there, you can see. Um, so boom, that's pretty good. Give it a final look down and see. Looks pretty solid right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish. I don't like to make my collars too big, so I'm gonna make sure I whip finish before I get going crazy with that. And I just do quick three. And don't worry about the knot because we're gonna put some UV glue down. So I just do three, hold it in place. Um, now, I have some Loon uh, Clear here, and I want to basically make a casing for this whole top, right here, right all the way from the thread here down back to the body. So, I just sort of go slow, don't worry about making it perfect on the first time. because it's just the foundation. OK, 
Okay, so see, so I haven't done a real casing yet. I just started a little bead trail. And now we can sort of build up and lock in those feathers and stuff. What I like to do is just hold the feathers in the position that I want them. So like I like these, so I'll just hold them and I'll zap it. You guys can't really see that, but I'll hold them and zap it while the glue is drying or hardening, I should say. And that will hold my feathers in, in place. So now they have that kind of nice shape that we all know and love. So here I'm just going to continue building it up. That looks pretty good. There you guys can see. It's looking pretty good. You can see that case starting to form. Feathers are laying pretty decent. Um, not perfect. But pretty good, you know, nonetheless. And uh, so yeah, so here's our, here's our finished fly. Looks great. It's something I just kind of stumbled upon. Um, and uh, it worked very, very well last year for me. So something different. Maybe the fish hasn't seen it before. But it worked well, so I'm going to continue to use it. Hope you guys do too. Hope you learned something. Uh, thanks for watching. Check us out on Instagram at Mainfly Guys for, uh, for some more fishy action. Thanks, guys.